guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to a brand new video today we've got a little bit of a different setting in all honesty my tripod's downstairs i've just got back from b&m and setting all the tripod up putting my lights on and everything i couldn't be bothered i'm just gonna be honest so i thought Do you know what i'm just gonna rest it in my small tripod in my window in my bedroom this is what we've got. I used to, when we first started YouTube, I literally used to always film my hauls from here. So it's a little bit of a throwback. But anyways, I hope it's okay. Also, I am just going to start off by, you've probably not even noticed it right now, but you will notice it. I was going to say start off by addressing the elephant in the room, but you've probably not noticed until I've just pointed it out. Please ignore my orange hands. Like, look. <sighs> I very very rarely fake tan right and I bought the in fact I didn't buy it for Christmas Tom got me the Molly May Philip by Molly May spritz you know the face stuff um afternoon Mr my parish partner I keep flying past the window um if you know you know but Tommy got me this spritz stuff the Molly May one and it's really really good I've been using it on my face I haven't got it on at the minute but I used it last week and it's fantastic but yesterday my hands were so pale and I thought Do you know what I'm going to spray some on my hands and just see how it works wouldn't recommend it to a friend i mean maybe if you did it properly but i literally just sprayed and honestly like oh, it's absolutely horrendous so can we please just ignore the hands and just don't do what i did i wouldn't recommend it anyway today i am back with a b&m haul i've literally just got back from b&m so i thought you know what i'm just gonna film it whilst i've got it in the bag because then i can use it because that's the one thing about doing hauls you got to keep it until you filmed it to use and i really want to start using the bits because i want to do a bit of a clean so i thought you know what i'm just going to film it straight away so yeah we've got a big bag standard i mean i can't even lift it up we've got a huge bag i'm literally just going to pick it out of the bag so if you are excited to see what i bought from b&m this month then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up okay starting off can i just actually say this bag smells unreal and you'll know why when i show you the thing that's making it smell so good honestly i found some right bargains in there this month so the first thing that i picked up was a new bath pillow for us i really really love these but what i tend to find is they go not moldy but they go when you've had them a while they go really funny so i usually do have to bin them after i've had them for so long um so i just picked up another one they're really cheap it literally costs three pound and it's a waffle material i don't know if you can see that and it's just got the little suctions and i feel like when you've had one of these and then you don't have one for a while you really notice a difference these are so nice just to chill out in the bath so that's the first thing i picked up three pound i then picked tom up a valentine's day card now b&m had so many cute valentine's day cards i was looking through them all for quite a while and i was a little bit like there was like your standard is that another magpie Afternoon, it's my Persian partner. If you're new around here, I really believe in magpies. If I see one, I have to salute it. Two flew by before I started, and now I've seen one singular one and another singular one. So you have to salute to break the case. Anyways, there was loads of really nice Valentine's Day cards in B&M. They had like the really nice ones like you mean the world to me to the one i love which i usually go for and then they had some like cool funky ones and this was one of those and i just thought it was so cute so it says i flipping love you and it's got two penguins on the front how cute is that it cost me one pound 79 and they had loads they had absolutely loads of good cards and they're quite a big size as well which i thought was quite good so i got that for tom i'm being organized i'm being organized and i've got the card already okay i feel like i bought so much cleaning stuff this month like a lot of a lot of this bag is cleaning i'm not gonna lie but we have got some other things so next up i got some new hairspray i got this got to be glued one i don't really tend to use hairspray but people say if you spray your curls they're meant to last longer and i have got a hairspray that i do sometimes give it a good spray about but i don't think it's very good if i'm honest and i really really love the got to be brand i use the got to be eyebrow glue is it called really 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 good so i thought i'd try this where's my receipt how much did you cost three pound 99 it's a decent sized bottle and like i say that's a really good brand because i use other products that they have next up i picked up this three pack of curved nail files i have no nail files whatsoever and i hate it you know when it gets to towards your next nail appointment and they're chipping a little bit or like the edging's just gone a little bit and you keep catching it so annoying so i just needed some nail files i don't really know what the difference is to be honest in all three of these 
um, doesn't actually say. I wonder if they're just the same but different colours. But anyways, I picked those up and they cost me... What did they cost me? Nail files 3 pack, £1.49. I thought they'd just be useful to have in. Okay, let's move on to like cleaning household a bit. So the next thing I picked up was just some kitchen foil. I... I don't want to say I'm a kitchen foil snob because I'm not, but I've bought kitchen foils from B&M before and I feel like when you go for like a cheaper kitchen foil, it just sticks, rips, like you can't see where the end is. I just think it's worth spending that little bit more money on this because you get a better version. But actually, I bought this one from B&M last month um, and it was a little bit more pricey, but it's the catering. It's called Strong Catering Foil. And I bought this from there last month and it was really, really good. Um, so I just picked another one up because we've run out. And this one cost me £2.49. Which I mean is not that expensive, but you can get this for like one pound fifty, can't you? But that's when I find like the one pound fifty, one pound ones just aren't that great. That one's a really, really good one. Um, so yeah, I picked one of those up. I then picked up these. I've never seen these before. So these are the Fabulosa floor wipes. Now I am a big fan of the normal wipes for Fabulosa. But if you watch my speed cleans, then you'll know specifically in my bathroom. Instead of mopping, I like to just get on my hands and knees and get a wipe and clean it because my bathroom's quite small. Um, so I thought instead of just using normal wipes, I could use actual floor wipes. So I picked those up. I got them in the scent Lemon Sherbet, which I absolutely love. That's one of my favourite scents. And you get 25 wipes in the pack. And they cost me £1.49. Which I do think is really good for a pack of floor wipes. So I'll let you know what those are like. Next up, I picked up like a variety of different cloths. Minky cloths to be precise. In fact, no, they're not all minky. I've got one scrub mummy let's start with that actually so i picked myself up a new scrub mummy now we have one scrub daddy um but i've used it in the bathroom so i needed a new one for downstairs and i thought that was really cute i think it's maybe pink because it is the valentine's day edition potentially i'm not sure but um yeah it's just a normal scrub i've never had a scrub mummy i've only ever had a scrub daddy and that one cost me £2.69 but honestly I always say this now when I show you guys these but we are definitely a scrub mummy slash daddy household I cannot live without these they're so so good it says the dishwasher safe as well I mean we don't have a dishwasher but that's good you can sanitise these in your dishwasher if you have got one so yeah I got that then just got some new cloths so I saw the Valentine's edition minky cloth and I obviously couldn't not get it this is the minky antibacterial cleaning pad these are literally the only cloths we really use but i just thought that was really cute a little valentine's day edition they have loads of valentine's things actually in b&m like the fabric conditioners they have like pink like new scents and stuff they had quite a bit which was really nice um this one cost me this cost me £2.49 I definitely think minkies have gone up in price I'm pretty sure when Mrs Hinch first came about and introduced us all to minkies I'm sure you could get them for a pound. Am I making that up? I'm pretty sure you could get them for a pound. £2.49. I can't lift them out without them, so I mean, I'm, I'm one of those people that will pay the price. Next one is these minky biodegradable sponge wipes. I just think these are really good to have in the cupboard. I find these nice just to wipe the surfaces down. So I just picked up a pack of two of those, pink and a yellow. Um, and I just think they're really good sponges. And they cost me £1.29. That's that's crazy isn't it £1.29 for two £2.49 for one crazy I then saw this I don't know if it is a new scent or if it's out every year but it's a seasonal scent it says on here um this is in the scent springtime now I've never had this before but I just thought spring's fast approaching let's get in that seasonal spirit um, so I got the Zaflora Springtime Disinfectant Spray. And then I got the Zaflora Springtime Antibacterial Cleaning Wipes. So yeah, I just thought I'd try them new scents. I thought that would be really nice for spring. Let's smell. I did have a smell in the shop. I can't remember. It just smells. The best way to describe that is, you know, like when you walk into someone's house and you know they've just done a spring clean. That's exactly what it smells like. So I thought they were just two new scents to try out. Um, and these ones cost... £2.99 and £1.99. Doesn't say what was what, but I'm presuming. Oh, yeah, £2.99 for the wipes, £1.99 for the spray. I 
feel like there's nothing better. Let me know if you feel the same, but there's nothing better than using the same scent. Like, I'm a sucker for using the same scent. It's like, for example, with my washing, I mean, I'm going to completely contradict myself in a minute when I show you what I've got from washing, but usually I like to use, like, the same scent um, in scent boosters with the same scent fabric conditioner. And then, like, with the floor, I like to use the same scent what I'm going to put in my sink with the same scent spray and wipes. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like, I don't know, when I use the same scent, I feel like I've got my life put together does anyone else feel the same or is that just me but i really i really do feel like that and now i'm going to contradict myself because i've got some cleaning products and they're not the same scent but in my defense when i buy these i always tend to buy the same ones because i just find them really good i don't really tend to buy these for the scent i know you can get them in the scents but i just tend to go with aerial these are just the extra stain removal for extra hygiene it says platinum extra stain removal and we need the extra stain removal because i still i've asked you guys this before so please remind me in the comments down below what you use but i'm still yet to find a good spray or product to get stains out of clothes like i really struggle to get stains off of things so please let me know your tips down below um, but i always just tend to try and go for like stain removal capsules just so i've got something um i've got an extra large pack 39 washes these last me so so long um obviously a little bit more pricey because it's an extra large pack but they really do last me a really really long time so these are aerial they cost me £9.99 but you get 39 washes so that's that's good and then, I mean, who is she? Because if you've been around since the start, then you will know I used to be one of these people that changed up my fabric conditioners all the time. Like, I always used to like to try the new scents. But for the past, I'd say over a year, I've been a Spring Awakening gal, through and through. Always buy Spring Awakening because it's just my favourite. However, I saw this and it really caught my eye. And it's a spring edition. So again, I just thought we'd go with the spring vibe. This is in the scent um, Daffodil and Vanilla Flower. 48 washes. And honestly, this smells so, so, so good. Like, so nice. Probably one of the nicest fabric conditioners I've ever smelled. I thought we'd mix it up a bit and go for a different fabric conditioner and stick within that spring theme okay i won't lie i don't really know why i picked these up but i saw them and i've never had them so i thought i'd give them a go these are just the andrex wipes it says that they're i think i think they're washable yeah fine to flush fragrance free now we are one of these households that constantly runs out of toilet roll i'm like oh crap we got to get toilet roll so i thought these would just be good to keep in the cupboard just in case we needed toilet roll and we didn't have any so yeah they were a pound pick them up I then got just a new shower cream. This is one of my favourites. It's cherry and almond milk. Um, just smells so nice. So good. But another one, we are one of these households that goes through shower gel like there is no tomorrow. And it's, look, I'm going to put my hands up because it's not Tom. It is completely me. I use so much shower gel. Like literally, when I've been in the bath or shower tonight, that will probably be down to that. I use so much. I can't help myself. I literally love it. So anyways, I picked that up. It was a pound, I think, that one. I don't think it was expensive. Yeah, one pound, so bargain. I love a nice smelling shower gel. Okay, let's move on to food next. I feel like you can't go to B&M and not pick up all the snacks. And these are one of my favourite snacks. These with a cup of tea. Honestly, so good. I usually get just the chocolate ones. Um, but I got some strawberry ones to try as well. I thought they might taste a little bit like jammy dodgers. Um, I'm a big, big, big fan of BNBN biscuits. I mean, I do prefer the bigger ones, but these are obviously just a little bit better because they're not as big. Um, you get five packs, and I think you get five little biscuits in each pack. But yeah, I just got the chocolate and the jam, and they were a pound each. So good, so good with the tea. And then I got some chocolate. Now, I did get two of the same thing, so and then I got something else. This one's the Milky Bar Mini Eggs Bar. Now, it's really funny this because me and Tom were actually talking the other day about when we were younger and we used to go swimming and we were on about the vendor machines. You know when you come out the swimming pools? Let me know if you remember this, but you come out the swimming pools and they had the vendor machines and your mum and dad always used to buy a, like a little snack. They used to say, right, you can pick one thing from the vendor machine and literally every time I went swimming, I always picked a Milky Bar Mini Eggs Bar. Milky Bar Mini Eggs Bar. Obviously, they weren't big like that. It was just a normal size, but... I used to always, hands down, pick that. And me and Tom were saying that they were so good 
and th the fact that they're not about anymore. We haven't seen them in so long. And then I went into B&M and they had these. I don't know if it's because it's nearly Easter and they may be the Easter edition. But I picked up two because... I mean, it's not the biggest bar, and I will definitely demolish that. So we've got we've got one each. But they cost one pound twenty five. But let me know when you were younger, when you used to go swimming, did you always used to get something out the vending machine? And if so, what was your go to? Because I was obsessed with this. I just have that vivid memory of coming out of swimming, like from my swimming lessons, and always getting one of those for the way home. And then the next thing that I picked up, this looks so good. It says it's new, but it's a Lotus Biscoff Milk Chocolate Bar. Now, they did have two of these. They had one with Biscoff crumbs, so it has crumbs inside, which is the one I've gone for. And then they had one with Biscoff spread inside. But I thought the crumbs one sounded a little bit better. I am a massive fan of Biscoff, but I can't eat too much of it because I do feel like it's a little bit sickly when you eat too much. But I just thought, in fact, should we try a bit? This was pretty pricey for a chocolate bar, I think, but it was, I thought it was going to be worth it, so I, I got it anyway. Lotus Biscoff, £2.99. That is expensive. Better be worth it, that's all I'm going to say. That's another thing, actually. I went to Tesco's today, and I saw Biscoff cheesecake. Now, cheesecake's mine and Tom's favourite dessert, and like I've just said, I love Biscoff. So I picked other cheesecake up each. It was a pack of two. I'm excited for that. Ooh! They are quite big chunks, actually. Okay, are we ready? Right. That's really, really nice chocolate. I love the crunch. Really glad I went for the crunch instead of the spread. But I won't like that taste biscoff at all. Let me just try it again. No. I literally can't taste Biscoff at all. That's really sad. Maybe the spread one, you'd be able to taste it more. That's really weird. Really nice, but you can't taste Biscoff. So, what I'd maybe say is if you want the Biscoff taste, maybe try the spread. That's really sad. Nice chocolate though. It is nice. I'm going to have another square last few things i don't really know why i got this why did i get this oh i know i got it right so i saw this never seen it before it's the swizzlers love hearts squash i just thought it looked quite nice but the main reason i got it was because me and tom always do like an early in halloween themed food for the day and i thought this would be quite good because it's like not halloween any i mean we do do that but what I was meant to say was only eating Valentine's Day themed food for the day. That's a mouthful. And I thought because it's like hearts, this would be within the theme. It only cost a pound. Let's like, scan it actually. Like you can you can know a lot through scents. Mm, do you know what that smells like? Um you know you can get the lemon flavoured cordial, which I really like. That's what it smells like. I'm guessing that's probably gonna taste the same which i really like okay last couple of bits well i've got three things but two are the same i'm probably saving the best till last here because these like when i was stood smelling them i was like probably one of the best candle scents i've ever smelled and that is like a, um, a bold statement to make so i was looking at the candles and i've seen this range a lot i think they're meant to be dupes of is it joe malone i think is what they're supposed to be dupes of. They look quite luxurious, I thought. They had a massive range. They had big candles. They had smaller candles. They had wax melts. They had absolute loads. And they had them in, I'm sure it's Joe Malone, because they had them in like the pomegranate um, scent and the lime and basil, which are Joe Malone scents, I believe. So I think they are meant to be a dupe of Joe Malone. Um, they smelt nice, but nothing like out of the ordinary. And then I smelt this one, which I've never, ever smelt. And it's sweet almond and macaroon. Oh my god. Honestly, you, you need to go to B&M. They only have like a few left and you have to pick this up. If you like the smell of marzipan, that's what it smells like. It is so sweet and so nice. Like, I, I was obsessed so I had to get three of them. So I got this. This was like the biggest candle that they did. How much was this? £3.99. I just thought it looked quite luxurious. I mean, they could have put it to the top, couldn't they? But yeah, I got... Well, I didn't get one of them, actually. I got two of those, the same. Number 12. 
sweet almond and macaroon so 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 good like i say one of the nicest scented candles i've ever smelled the only thing is i'm wondering if they're gonna last like if or even if they're gonna really smell because sometimes i find with like cheaper candles they don't really leave a scent so we'll see anyway we'll see if they do and then i just got the same but in a smaller one i just thought they would maybe look quite nice on my coffee table like stood next to each other so yeah three pound 99 for the big one two pound for the small one so i got two bigs and one small so anyways that is everything that i picked up from being on this month i really really hope you enjoyed if you did then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up as always thank you so so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye